my name is Marissa and this is circuit training. For today's circuit, we will be focusing on abs in April. Uh, please make sure that you do uh, warm up for five to 10 minutes before this workout and you do cool down for five to 10 minutes afterwards. As always, you know your body better than I do. Make sure that you have some water handy and a mat and you might, might want a blanket for your knees. Uh, and let's go ahead and get started. All right, so for our first workout, we will be doing your classic crunches. So laying back down on your mat or blanket, whatever you've got, with your feet out in front of you, a little wider than hip distance apart, we are going to put our fingers behind our uh, earlobes and we are going to bring our chin up to the ceiling and crunch up, engaging our core at the top and bringing it back down. What we don't want is to squeeze our neck and cause a lot of neck tension. So it should be a nice um, fluid movement, really working those abs without any tension on your neck. So let's go ahead and get started. Bringing up that head, engaging that core. For some added difficulty here, feel free to bring up the legs like so, where you can perform it with one leg up at a time. Totally up to you. So for our second exercise, we will be uh, performing the plank. Uh, so bringing your hands underneath our shoulders, bringing our feet out behind us, a little wider than hip distance, and we will look in front of us for our plank. Now, if that's too difficult, you can feel free to lower onto your knees, keep your hands in front of you, and a nice neck alignment like so, engaging the core, and we're going to hold for 15 seconds. 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. I like to take a child's pose after my planks personally, so feel free to stretch out those shoulders and repeat as often as you'd like. All right, for our third exercise, uh, we will go ahead into bicycle crunches. So this is um, a little variation on the crunch. So same, similar position, uh, lowering back onto the mat, um, <clears throat> fingertips behind our ears. Instead of performing our basic crunch, we will bring in the right leg, and then bring in the left leg, aiming to get the opposite elbow to that knee. If this is too easy, feel free to keep your um, feet up uh, while you uh, crisscross uh, your elbows and your knees. Otherwise, you can keep it here for a more basic bicycle crunch. All right, so for our fourth and last exercise, um, in keeping in our pattern, we will be working in another static hold, um, this time uh, a raised leg boat pose. So one variation, you can go down on your elbows and knees up like this and hold. If that is too easy, you can feel free to um, raise your arms and your legs at the same time and hold. So pick your poison and we will hold for 15 seconds, engaging the core. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Release and take a deep breath. Thank you so much for joining me. Again, my name is Marissa. This was circuit training. Please make sure to uh, take this time to cool down for five to 10 minutes. Um, be sure to follow us um, on Facebook or YouTube at Georgia State University Recreational Services. 
um, or Instagram or Twitter, GUC Recreation. Uh, or you can find us on the web at recreation.guc.edu if you want to sign up for any in-person classes um, or just check out uh, more information. And please leave any feedback, comments, questions uh, on this video below. Hope to see you all next time. Bye!